Hello and welcome to What Are We Playing This Week, the show where I try to recommend to you a couple of video games based on certain criteria, and today's criteria is cats. Yes, cats. Nature is assholes, but they're so damn cute. So if you want to better understand them, then these games are for you. Cat games. Now if you're thinking that these are games made to be played by cats, well, sorry to disappoint you, no, these are games where you play as cats. The one with games for cats will be along later, as our researcher is now sleeping and will not go on the internet without attacking the mouse and the headphones and the display. It's a cat, it attacks everything it sees. That's what cats do. Speaking of which, the first game I'm gonna recommend to you is Cat Lateral Damage. Now this thing showed up on Kickstarter I believe a couple of years ago and the internet went insane. Now it wasn't exactly goat simulator level of insane, but still there was a buzz about this game which maybe didn't actually come to fruition in the same way that other buzzy buzzing things that happened on the internet did. In cat lateral damage you have the ability to actually play as a cat. A simple, day-to-day, -day, annoying, fussy, arrogant cat that spends all its time destroying your stuff. You'll run around a lot of maps like a room, like a shopping mall, just destroying everything you see in a set limit of time. Your job is to create as much mayhem and chaos as possible. You have to chain combos of destroyed pieces of furniture and objects and oh, you have to do a lot of, a lot of parkouring as a cat to get to the more expensive stuff that's on the top shelf shelves because you know you're a cat you know what things are worth that's why you break them and if you want to be an asshole i mean if you want to be a cat well, Cat Lateral Damage is on Steam right now for 10 euros. Now keep in mind, this is cheaper than going around and bashing things with a baseball bat or just destroying your own house. Though it's your house, you can do whatever you want with it, so go for it. Well, go for the game, I mean, no, don't destroy your house. It may be a nice house, it didn't deserve to be destroyed. Up next is a game that I remember having strong feelings about well, six years ago when it was released. Blade Kitten. Now, you don't actually play as a full-fledged cat. You play as a cat girl, so it's probably gonna be more appealing to the anime crowd. Now, this is quite a nice action side-scrolling shooter platformer thing where you control that cat lady thing that goes around and shoots stuff and collects things and, and like I said I had some feelings about it six years ago I vaguely remembered what they were probably disappointment a bit because it wasn't as good as Power Rangers Super Legends that let you juggle enemies in the air with your gun I don't think you could do that in Blade Kitten though and it wasn't boring it was just okay -ish. it wasn't the basic idea is that this game costs you three dollars that's it. That's as cheap as you can get. Well, there are cheaper cat games on Steam, but I don't know exactly how much game there is in those, but this one is actually a game. Lastly, I'm gonna recommend to you either Morrowind or Skyrim. They're both 15 euros on Steam, so take your pick. In both of them, you can play as a cat, a really big bipedal cat, a Khajiit. And Khajiit has wares, and does not talk like a vampire. Now, why aren't I recommending Oblivion? Well, I hated Oblivion's guts. Oblivion's menu system made me so mad, so goddamn furious, I never played it past the first couple of hours, because it was absolute and utter crap. You couldn't even stack clothes, which you can do in Morrowind. You can't do it in Skyrim either, but Skyrim, although has kind of the same, like an even shittier menu system, at least has some other... The combat is okay, That that's... Um, it's, it's not as slow, aggravating and annoying as in the other games. So take your pick. In both of them you can be a big cat, you can talk to other cats, you can meow at each other, you can do anything you want as a cat. Well, that would be about it for this edition of What We're Playing This Week. I would have loved to recommend to you Captain Claw, but you can't buy it like 
anywhere. And that was a game where you played as a pirate cat and no one's selling it. What kind of world are we living in when a game like that is not being sold anymore? Really? How is this justice? But you can, you know, get it in certain places and... Well, it's a pirate cat, you know what it, what it means. See you next time with a new gaming recommendation. Maybe one that will be sort of in touch with its surroundings or something. We'll see. Thank you for watching this show. If you enjoyed it, please consider watching some of our other videos and maybe sharing them or giving a thumbs up if you feel like it. And if you really, really liked what you saw, please check out our Patreon page. For just $1 a month, you could help us make much better shows and get some rewards in the process. Or you could consider buying my book called Tale of Doom. Volume 1 is out now and available for just two dollars and as always if you thought it was horrible you know where to find me and complain about it